Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It is Cop360 here, and um, this is just a video. No, it's more to do with like computer guys. I'm sure quite a few of my stops, well, you know, like what like to watch you know videos about computers and computer parts, components, and shit like that. But anyway, um, I'm sure some of you guys will know that Intel came out with Haswell, um, their fourth generation of Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 um, chips, CPUs, microprocessors, whatever you want to call it. And um, this has resulted in another, in yet another, sorry, socket change. Now, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to do. My, it's hard to say. Like, my question to you is: Do you think Intel changed this socket too much? Because look, we think about this. Um, uh, Sandy Bridge was the release of the 1155 socket. Sandy Bridge came out in 2011, I believe it was. Um, 2011, I'm pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure it came out in 2011, and, um, it came along with, um, came out alongside LGA 2011 as well, so, you know, that's extreme shit, so anyway, regardless, um, 2011, they had 1155, just before the very first, um, generation of, um, i3, i5, i7, they had 1366, sorry, and now, what's it called, they have 1150, so, in the time period of, um, what year is it now? I mean, shit, no, what year is it now? Um, how many years is it, sorry? Three years, no, two years, 2011, uh, two, three years, it depends if you count 2011 as the Look, this is not supposed to be a math lesson, regardless. In a space from 2011 to 2013, they changed their soccer three times. On, you know, the mainstream CPUs. And, I don't know, because look, for example, if you've got... Say you've got you've got the i7, you've got like the 990X or you know the top end i7, um, and you wanted to upgrade to another extreme edition i7, I'm more than sure you would have had to have upgraded the socket. Um, yes, you would have. LGA 2011 is only Sandy Bridge E. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is Sandy Bridge E, and it will include uh, include sorry Ivy Bridge E, which is good. So you know that's all right. But regardless, they went from 1366 to um, 1155, now 1150, and just before that, actually, I'm not really going to count out um, Core 2 Core, that was just, you know, that's another whole different error, but regardless, i3, i5, i7, socket's been changed three times, and the CPUs itself have been upgraded four times, and now you take a look at AMD, AMD here, they've, how long have they been keeping the AM3 and AM3 plus socket for? I'm not even sure, it's been a pretty long time. I, they, these sockets, they have them out for pretty, I don't, I don't know, they keep them out for a pretty long um, series of time. And even then, um, they, they, they're normally backwards compatible, like AM3, some AM3 CPUs will work on AM3+. Plus. And how long, has it, how long has AM3 Plus been out for? It's been out for a long time. AM3, like just AM3 was out in 2009. I think AM3 Plus was out just to maybe 2010, maybe 2011. But even then, just that space, that's a lot, that's... They don't change the socket over and over and over again, and you, 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 I might sound like I'm bitching here, but I'm, I'm not bitching at all. Look, look, it's still good that you know they're changing their socket, changing um, architectures, but still, people want to upgrade. They need to buy new CPUs. They need to well, obviously they need to buy a new motherboard as well. And when you buy a new motherboard, you got to take your computer apart and got to put it back together. So I don't, I don't reckon like a lot of people who have. Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge CPUs will be bothered to upgrade. Maybe if you have Sandy Bridge and you want to upgrade to um, Haswell, but is that really worth it? Because, you know, it's, it's Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge, you're fine, to be honest. Because the, the percentage difference of, you know, performance. For example, 3570, 3770K, sorry, versus 4770K, the game's difference, it's like 3 FPS. So maybe if you're looking for, to take advantage of, you know, the things Haswell brings to the market, like you know the low C state um, power, st uh, power, what's it called? You, it's the low C state power phase, not phase. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry, but you know what I'm talking about. Just the low power state. That's right. Um, if you want to take advantage of stuff like that, then yeah, Haswell's for you. But if you're you know a gamer or something like that looking to upgrade, it's just it's not worth it. Just wait. So anyway, guys, this was. I just a bit, little bit of a discussion, sorry, about uh, Haswell and the upgrade of Haswell. I'll put some more Haswell videos right now, and I will see you guys later.